Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you the simplest and the easiest way to plot a multiple bar charts using GNU plot and that too using a script. So if you are running Windows machine, so I could uh, suggest you to write the script using your notepad and if you are on a Linux machine, write uh, the script using Vim or BI editor. So let's start. Before going to the plotting detail, let's, uh, let's have a look at the data which we want to plot. So if I open the text file, uh, let's have a look at this text file. So this text file have different numbers. Let's forget about these numbers because this is these numbers are not going to do anything. So just focus on the rows and the columns. So there are uh, three columns and there are seven rows. So what we want actually we want to plot one, two, three for each of these A to G. Okay. So how could we do that? We could plot the same file using the using uh, just, just simply by calling new plot and uh, using every command one by one but is there any simplest way to do that yeah of course there is a simplest way if we could put each command uh, if we could put all commands in one file and use that file to plot so that could solve our problem so let's have a look at the file we're talking about you need to create a file with extension dot gnu whether you are in a linux machine or in a windows machine so uh, here I have already created this file just to save time. So let's have a look at the file. So now you can see this file. So this is a very basic script just to plot multiple bar charts. So there are no extra things that have been added here or nothing. So let's have a uh, look at the uh, different lines of this script one by one. The first, thing, the first thing is the terminal size. So what is the output size you need? So here I'm keeping this ratio 2 is to 1. So then the name of the output which is just the plot.png um like i want the extension in the png the output then there is a y range just so this this range is basically coming from my data so what is my whatever my data i want to keep the range from 0 to 0 0.8 and then there is this set minor uh, y ticks so this minor y ticks how many number of minor y ticks you want in the y axis so that is here i'm keeping one uh, two then there is these are the set of commands that you need to plot a histo histogram so first thing uh, the set style which is data histogram then what is the gap you need between different histograms so the for this you need to type this set style histogram cluster gap one so all these things so you could put only integers here instead of one you could try two three four whatever then uh, the style here we want uh, the set style fill solid so we want this solid uh, filled uh, histograms then there is a box width which I'm keeping 0.9 and then there is x ticks for much so which I'm uh, keeping nothing and uh, the grid uh, grid of y ticks so these are just simple things and then I'm using onset this onset command actually removes uh, the things for example here I'm using the onset for title and grid that's so removing the title of the plot as well as the grid then you need some uh, if you need the border in the border in the plot so the line width of the border you could adjust by using this uh, simple line so which is the your set border line width and whatever number you want to put and then there is x level and y level and the font of those x level and y level also you could play with then there is the x tick uh, the the font of x tick and the font of y tick okay now uh, and there is the key font so which is uh, here 12 so now with all these things let's uh, plot the, the th uh, let's plot the data so whatever data we have we have three different columns so this is simply we are plotting the same file the, the different columns of the same file with a different uh, color with a different color here i'm using red blue and green and you know this title if you remember uh, my data file so at the top of the data file there are three there were three columns i second i and third i and here the title i'm keeping the same which will appear in the plot so this is all about the script and if you have this basic script you could plot using GNU plot. let's have a look at the way of plotting just save it and now let's open GNU plot okay so if you open GNU plot, the first thing is to check the working directory. Just uh, type pwd to check which working directory you are in and in which working directory in your the input files and the script uh, is. 
So here we are in the working directory of the document, but the script and the input file is actually in the desktop. So we need to change directory, which can be done using this particular icon. So click on this and go into the desktop. And within this desktop, we need to go into this GNU bar. So now the directory hasn't changed. So test it using PWD. Okay. So now we are inside this desktop and JNU bar. The next thing is very simple. We just need to load the file the uh, with the dot JNU extension. So okay. So everything is set inside the file. You don't do. Uh, you don't have to do anything further. Just use this command load plot bar dot JNU and you will get the plot. So now as you can see the right side of my screen so the plot.png appears and this is actually our plot so let's have a look at the plot how it looks like okay so this is the multiple bar charts which we wanted and if you can see this i double i and triple i so these are actually the title and there is this x label y label and everything is there the grids are not there and this is a very simple bar plot or multiple bar charts so you could uh, use further comma further commands on the script to modify this plot further if you want to do several modification you could you could rotate the these like these a b c d all these things by different angles whatever those are just advanced level uh, level of modifications which you could do later and this is the basic uh, new plot thanks for watching